Hello everyone, uh, did you have a good old neighbor Nick Hicks in Frozen 2? I know, time to die in Avatar fan, so that's one year. And I wanna, and I will tell you my thought on the Flash trailer too, because it came out, um, it came out from YouTube, and honestly guys, I don't wanna give my thought on the, my thought on the Flash trailer too, because, um, because the Frozen community will have a complaint about me. And so anyway, um, so anyway, uh, um, so anyway, uh, my trailer roundup will be on later on tonight. Maybe at 8 o'clock or 7 or 6, I don't know. Well, as long as it's 10, but anyway. And anyway, guys, I'm going to give you a quick update for Scream 6. Anyway, guys, and anyway, uh, do you remember when I said that I'm going to watch Scream 6 um, on on the bus? But apparently, I'm going to watch it on later on tonight and stay tuned for my Scream 6 review maybe on Thursday. Not on tomorrow because tomorrow is regular video and my Thursday... My Thursday, and honestly, guys, I might delay my Scream 6 until on Saturday. I mean, on Sunday, because apparently I'm going to be pretty busy this week. So, yeah. And so, yeah, next week I'm going to be pretty busy because apparently um, I'm going to get up walking next week. So, yeah. <clears throat> and so, hey, guys. And so, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I will um I will tell you my thought on the Flash 2020 23 trailer too because even I'm pumped um hyped for that film but I'm not over hyping like everyone says that that the Flash movie is going to be the best comic book movie of all of, of the year and honestly guys uh don't forget uh don't forget Gone of the Galaxy Volume Two my dude so you guys and don't forget Marvel uh don't let DC overshadowing Marvel because that will make me. That would make me disappointed, man, because I do not want DC to overshadowing Marvel and Marvel be like a homeless man. Yeah, I do not want to see MCU going to be like a homeless man. And I do not want to see Kevin Feige be like a homeless man. No, don't make, don't make MCU homeless now. Don't do that. That's completely hardware. So, hey, guys, enough further to do. Now, let's get this Q&A started, shall we? The question goes to Kyle Beef, the Pokemon fan, 2006. He say this, number one, what is your worst Sonic game you ever seen? Number two, what is, uh, what is your opinion on the teeny, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Man, such a long title, huh? And number three, uh, what is your opinion on Yogoro? I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. And number four, what is your opinion on the Smurf? Number one, honestly, guy, honestly, guy, do, honestly, guy, do you have, uh, honestly, guys, do you honestly think that 2006 Sonic game is the worst Sonic game ever? Because that game is such a mess, right? The story is just a mess. The kissing scene is disgusting. Because that kissing scene make Kyle Wan and Raya kissing, uh, <coughs> make it less terrible than the one princess characters kiss Sonic, which that kiss scene is absolutely disgusting and I cannot believe why uh, the company who made this game thinks it's a good idea like seriously yeah honestly guys I think 2006 Sonic game is the worst Sonic game ever and I definitely agree with Wimbar Shrek back so yeah and number two honestly guys uh honestly guys I know I know the Frozen community are not a huge fan of the Teeny Mew, uh, Teeny Mew and Ninja Turtle but honestly guys I'm a huge fan of Teen Mutant Ninja Turtle. I do enjoy some movies. I do enjoy some action figures. And I do enjoy some Nickelodeon 2012. That is easily one of the best thing that came out from Ninja Turtle. Because after I heard they're making 2012 Ninja Turtle into a CGI animation. And I was like, eh, that's not a good idea. But after I watched the first episodes. And after I watched all the episodes. And, uh, and honestly, guys, it's kind of a shame that um, that show just came to an end. So, yeah. And sorry, you guys, and that way is to have a puppet finale. So I might do a review on the 2012 Ninja Turtle pretty soon. Not this week, because I'm doing I'm doing a review of some live action first, then animation. And number three, uh, that is a good show. I do enjoy Yagahu. Yeah, I do enjoy that show. That show was on WB Kids. Man, such a childhood memory, huh? And number four, I do enjoy the Smurf. No, not the Smurf from the movie. No, I'm not talking about the Smurf, the movie. I'm not talking about the Smurf 2011 or the sequel. It came out in 2013, which just came out like nine years ago. Which that, um, that film is 2010 years old. But yeah, um, the original, the Smurf is my kind of Smurf because I do remember watching that show on Boo Wayne. On the older Boo Wayne. I don't give a crap about the newer Boo Wayne. I might do a rant on the newer Boo Wayne. So yeah. And sorry, guys, and the order of the Smurf is 100 times better than the movie, so yeah. 
So, you guys, the question goes to Mature Frozen 2 fan. Number one, what is your opinion on the piece of time meme from Spider-Man 2? Num number two, what is your opinion on Mean Girl? Number three, are you excited for Transformers Rise of the Beef? And number four, are you excited for Indiana Jones, The Tower of Destiny? And, number f uh, and oh, God. And number five, what is your opinion on the Spider-Man 3? Okay, number one. Honestly, one of the funniest joke I've ever seen from Tell Me About Spider-Man. So, it's pizza time, everyone. Cowabunga. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, number uh, anyway number two. It's honestly one of, my, uh, one of my second favorite movie from 2004. Because that movie is funny. It's amazing. And kind of dark, too, for a comedy film. Uh, because, anyway, uh, if you haven't seen the film, I recommend you do not watch this part of this video. Anyway, guys, and there was a scene when the one girl got ran over for the bus. And I was like, oh, man, for a comedy movie? For a comedy movie. That's the kind of stuff that the Final de um the final Destination do that type of crap. So, yeah. And that death scene is the most darkest scene i ever seen for a comedy film. For a comedy film? Come on, Bingo, you know better than that. But um um but honestly guys, I think the incredible is for hundred times better than Mingo in my opinion. So yeah. And number three, yes, I'm excited for a Transformers of the uh, Transformers Rise of the Beef. And stay tuned for my all of review and the three Transformers movie is gonna turn into a rant. Like revenge um like revenge in the fallen of of age extinction and the last night. Those three Transformers will kiss my butt all I care. Uh I mean all I care. Anyway. And number four, yes, I'm excited for Indiana and German. I, uh, and honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, I still do not like the bottom of the title. Like, seriously, in the, um, in the Tower of Destiny, or why not you call it Indiana Jones, the Hill is in Force Return? Yeah, honestly, guys, I'm playing. Uh, honestly, guys, Lucasfilm did not. Uh, honestly, guys, Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm, um, just keep that title. Just for your fan base to get angry. And number five, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, every single time I think about Spider-Man 3, it just got worse and worse. And that movie makes Shrek the Third be like a less, less terrible than Spider-Man 3. That's how bad that movie is. And honestly, guys, and I'm probably you're going to say, Oh, what about The Maze Spider-Man 2? Yes, people, I know you hate a lot of The Maze Spider-Man 2. And do not give me an excuse that you hate The Maze Spider-Man 2 just because of the fact that they cut off Green Stacy. They have to make the movie emotional. Uh, what part you don't understand? Anyway, guys, and honestly, guys, I would watch the me Spider-Man 2 a 100 times better than Spider-Man 3. And that cringing da and dancing scene, don't want to talk about it. That's actually cringe as heck. Thank God Spider-Verse made a joke about it. No one want to talk about that. Um, okay. Okay, the question goes to Hunter, and this is the kind of YouTuber I don't want to talk about. Anyway, let's get back to the question. Anyway, guys, um, hmm, let me see. Um, are you... Uh, are you excited for my, uh, are you excited for my win on Inside Out Fan 2001 coming soon? Yes, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited for you win on Inside Out Fan 2001. You know what? Because of that, I will subscribe to you and hit the notification bell so I can keep it on your videos. Thank you so much. And I might, might watch you win. So I really hope you win, uh, will be uh, will not be like go anime um community so yeah and so you guys the question go to regular movie fan 2003 number one what is your opinion on christopher Lee superman film and number two what is your favorite sonic the hedgehog game and number three what is your opinion on um toby mcgrill's spider-man film now i have to talk about spider-man 3 again crap anyway guys and number one I do enjoy some Christopher Lee's Superman film, but uh, honestly, guys, except that one film called Superman 4, which Quest for Peace, more like Quest for Sucks, because that movie is a piece of crap, should not exist in the first place, and that movie is broken, that movie is not PG-13, that movie is PG, didn't, um, didn't, um, didn't mean, uh, didn't mean to be a with a PG, and, and for God's sake, why is Superman 4 with Quest for Peace is on the 4K, oh my goodness, pull the plug on that movie already. Because that's the kind of movie I really do not like in my future. Yeah, I do not like that movie. That movie is a piece of crap. Anyway, guys, and I do enjoy some Christopher Lee Superman film, but I think Harry Cavill is 100 times better Superman than Harry Cavill. I mean, sorry, um, Christopher Lee. So, yeah, guys. And number two, the original Sonic game is my true, fa um, true favorite Sonic game. So, yeah. And number three, let me tell you my opinion on the Tomb of Regret Spider-Man film. Number one, what are the purpose of for a comic, uh, comic book movies? So, yeah. 
And number two, one of the um, um, one of the great um, I mean, what of the greatest superhero uh superhero sequel ever made from the two thousand? Because I um, 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 because honestly, um, that film um, that film to do um. The deduce by um Doctor Octopus and even um oh my goodness uh oh my goodness um Granny Sandy was really annoying in the Tommy McGraw Spider Man and she keeps saying it's not all about you it's all about me oh my goodness it's called Spider Man film not Granny Stacy film come on get yourself together honestly guys I do uh, uh honestly guys I do like the actress from Jurassic World but um but honestly guys who has Granny Stacy she's, honestly guys she's even worse. Than her performance from the uh, from the uh, from the Grinch two thousand I mean two thousand yeah, anyway, uh anyway guys and the question go to the golden one which is the one YouTuber that uh, that the first community hate but honestly uh, but honestly guys honestly guys I don't want to be like a bay wagon and say oh the golden ones a uh, golden one he suck uh no I'm not gonna say that because I'm not that type of person what do you think I am a crazy person anyway. Anyway, guys, and number one, do you like, uh, do you like U.S. President Prey? I have no idea what that is, so, yeah. And number two, uh, what is, uh, what is the most underrated movie ever? Hmm. Number three, what is your opinion on the TMT 2007? And number four, uh, the best actor for the MCU. And, and, number five, do you like the Super Smash Bros? Hmm. Number one, I have no idea what that is, so I'm um so you guys I'm honestly guys I'm just gonna skip that question. And number two, honestly guys, the most underrated movie ever it's had to be ended in Armor Blonde. I don't understand why some people think that film was way worse than cuties. Honestly guys, every uh, honestly guys, every single time I heard about that opinion and more, this just got really disgusting. Honestly guys, who in the white mind wanna think ended in Armor Blonde is way more disgusting than cutie? Oh, just because it's NC seventeen. Come on, just move on, okay? It's just a movie. It's fake. The movie is fake. The movie's fake. It all these is fake. It don't need to be real. Come on. Come on, people. Get yourself together. Sorry, guys. I do enjoy Blonde. Blonde is a very, it's a very emotional movie, and I do not care how that mean spirit movie is. Having not even seen Chicken Widow, having, uh, having, uh, um, uh, honestly, guys, I, uh, Honestly, guys, I just don't even care that Blonde has a mean spirit. Oh my goodness, for God's sake, huh? For God's sake, have you, have you not even seen Chicken Widow? Chicken Widow is the most mean spirit movie I've ever seen in my life. See, it wasn't the way going to Jogger movie. Sorry, guys, I'm very sorry. I just cannot stand people's opinion on Blonde. Yes, it's their opinion. I understand that. But going that far, calling one of the worst movies from last year, this is when people took uh, took that movie way to an extreme, and I do uh, and I definitely agree with the frozen community. Yeah, people, get yourself together, calm down, and stop with that nonsense. It's okay to have your own opinion on blonde, but but when you say that, it's completely uncalled for. And number three, that movie was terrible. And that is easily um that is easily one of the second worst Ninja Turtle movie ever because the worst Ninja Turtle movie ever. No, nope, he was not Michael Bay's Michael Bay Ninja Turtle. And can you uh? Uh, honestly, guys, and before I talk about this question, can you please stop calling the Michael Bay Ninja Turtle kind of look like Shrek? That is a Phil Webber claim, you know that. Because, um, because the Michael Bay Ninja Turtle don't have any Shrek ears. Because if you say Shrek ears, I'm pro. I am very sorry, people, but, but you are out of your mind. Now stop that nonsense, it's getting really annoying. Anyway guys, in my opinion on the TMT 2007, I might do a rant of that film leading up to that new Ninja Turtle coming on Nickelodeon movie. So let's hope that film will save Nickelodeon movie for Ant Wong, we're getting Paw Patrol the movie too. So that, uh, so that movie is going to suck. So I'm, sorry guys, I am so dreading for that trailer. Oh my goodness, I am so dreading for that trailer. Okay, number four, honestly, guys, my favorite actor from the MCU is had to be tied with Chris Evans and and Robert Downey Jr. Honestly, guys, I think Robert Downey Jr. is my personal favorite actor from the MCU because he is a fantastic Iron Man. No, people, I'm not talking about Iron Man 2. Honestly, guys, who in the white mind want to see Iron Man get drunk uh, for the MCU movie? Come on, pal, man, get this stuff together, nonsense. So, you guys, in the last question... Yes, people, I do enjoy it's a Super Smash Bros. Because honestly, guys, last time I played that game at D twenty six with um, um, uh, with my sub um, 
with my helpful teacher named Mr. Sunny, he had a Nintendo Switch, and we both play Super Smash Bros. And I was, uh, I was as Rosalina, Mario, Sonic, and I, and all. And honestly, guys, you can change any color. Like Rosalina is black. I mean, black suit, and and Sonic is um Sonic has a color black suit. So that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I do enjoy the Super Smash Bros. It's only one of my top ten favorite video game ever made because my wish on the video game movie is way more different than Frozen because all the Frozen video a Frozen pick is video game I have never played Call of Duty I uh, I, uh honestly guys I am never even play GTA because the only thing I do GTA I just like to watch people I don't want to I don't want to um I don't want to play video game because last time I played video game years ago I actually um I actually say cuss for when uh when I was a kid like seriously I should never do that. What the heck is wrong with me these days? And so, you guys, the last question for today is how to be Chris Studio. And now he's bringing that show up, um, show up because honestly, I just don't even give a crap. But I'm just gonna read it. What is your opinion on the Big Time Rush? I do not like the Big Time Rush. That, uh, that show is absolutely god awful. It's so god awful, it's not even funny. And that is easily one of the worst shows of 2011. And that is easily one of my number seven worst Nickelodeon shows ever. And that is easily one the honor to mention on the worst Nickelodeon sitcom. I mean, uh, Nickelodeon shows ever. And that is easily one the worst Nickelodeon sitcom I ever see in my life. And that, and that show make Victoria's iCarly and Haley Danger look like a masterpiece over Big Time Rush. Yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, guys, let's face it. I do not like the Big Time Rush. Thank God that show sucks, and thank God that show got canceled, and take off the air, which is deserve it big time. So yeah, that's my opinion on Big Time Watch. I might, honestly guys, I might do a rant of that and make a full detail why I do not like Big Time Watch. I don't understand why some people think that show is a masterpiece. What? Honestly guys, still, honestly guys. Still a much better Nickelodeon show is 100 times better than Big Time Watch. Like SpongeBob SquarePants, Teenage Robot, The Wild Thorn Berry, Ninja Turtles, uh, Tub Puppies. Tub Puppy is 100 times better from the 2010 Nickelodeon than Big Time Rush. Yeah, and Victorious. Screw that. Anyway, guys, and that was my Q&A episode 31. And stay tuned for my episode 32 and stay tuned for my review on Scream 6 on Thursday night. And sorry guys, if you liked this video, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the video with your whole family. And sorry guys, and if my regular video get awful again, I might stop doing regular video anymore because apparently I think my regular video is going downhill now because honestly guys, all of us is is running up the idea because first um because honestly first we uh first we was trying to make a regular video of Thanos phone love with Rivera. Which honestly, guys, that way was awful, and I do not want to make that ever again. Yeah, thanks a lot, you stupid Thanos. I mean, not the MCU Thanos, I'm talking about the Lego Thanos. And second video, me and Pleasant was planning, it's had to be Sushu and Plankton, uh, the day wife of Sushu, and that video was awful too. So, so let's hope Preston, which is my friend, which is the only friend I have. Uh, anyway, guys, and the internet friend do not count because some internet friend like to be hypocrite, like Phoebe. Oh my god, I cannot stand Phoebe. Or who in the white mind want to put, uh, who in the white mind want to put movies as, uh, at, um, as her favorite movie of all time? Like seriously, they're a much better movie, uh, than Morbius. Like Venom and No Way Home. No Way Home is, uh, No Way Home is one hundred times better than Morbius. It's Morbius time. Guys, do not watch movies. I don't give a darn that um um honestly guys, I don't give a darn that that um that movie is on Netflix. Honestly guys, just go watch Stranger Thing and go watch Bullet Train and go watch the bad guy. Those movies and TV shows are way better than that piece of crap. Anyway guys, and anyway guys, and I'm a, and uh sorry. Um anyway guys, and stay tuned for my uh honestly guys, I don't know what number for my episode for my trailer wound up. Stay tuned for my uh trailer wound up, uh which I'm gonna talk about the Flash trailer and 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 Deja Washington action movie. Or uh, even I haven't seen some of his action movie from the trilogy. It's gonna be a final movie because Deja Washington is getting pretty old these days. So you guys and Jack Nicholson, oh my goodness, Jack uh Jack Nicholson is is older man now and honestly guys i've probably seen the picture i'm probably gonna shock if you're a huge fan of the shiny and the batman so let's hope you don't pass away and rest in peace to the actor who's the voice of bruce the shark for finding Nemo. and rest in peace 
to that actor because he passed away like a um um like a week ago I think I don't know anyway guys and rest in peace to that so I don't and sorry guys and uh, if he passed away uh, I mean why he passed away yeah what's the point making Finding Nemo three if you make a Finding Nemo three it would be not the same without him. Anyway, guys, I see you next time. And so I'm going to pitch you to stay tuned for my trail wound up at 7 o'clock and, and 8 o'clock, either state of time. And stay tuned for my thought on the Flash 2 trailer 2023 trailer 2. And this is Nick Hicks signing off for now. Bye bye.